Hey, what's up, Facebook world? Julie here, coming to you live from my hometown of Chicago, sitting in my backyard. Yep, and uh, here is a mess. That's okay. Listen, I've been on back-to-back calls, you guys, so I just want to hop on real quick and talk to you. I'm going to keep this short. I know my training the other day about fan pages was... uh, way longer than what you guys are normally used to. However, I hope it was super, super, super helpful in your business. Um, I know I got a lot of amazing responses, you guys. It was, it's, I think I have, I don't know, over 450 comments on that training. Um, when I, so if you miss, if you missed my training from Monday about fan pages versus personal page versus uh, private group, please go back and watch it. I know it's 40 minutes. I know, but Just put your earbuds in, and when you're driving, just listen to it because um, I think it'll really help you. And today, I just want to hop in real, real quick. Like I said, back-to-back calls going on, but I wanted to give you um, the three proven keys to success that has helped me be really um, successful in my business. If you are new to who I am, if you're new to Julie Burke, please drop me a one so I can give you a shout out. And also make sure you head over, not now, Afterwards, head over to createsuccesswithjulie.com, drop in your email, and grab one of my free resources there. Um, But I just wanted to pop in and talk to you because I know a lot of people can get really, really frustrated when building a business, whether you're building a network marketing business, an affiliate marketing business, an online business, a coaching business. It doesn't matter what you do. Um... I, I do it all, right? I have several income streams where I'm building um, all of that out. And so I know first and foremost, it can get frustrating from time to time. Hey, Miranda, how are you? Yeah, as you guys are tuning in, drop me a comment, say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from, please. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just hop on and, and give uh, a couple of these tips. And like I said, if you are new to, to who Julie Burke is. I, um, I've been in network marketing for five years. I've had uh, uh, created almost a million dollars in network marketing. Um, I also started my own training company last July and um, I then became an affiliate marketer. And so I was able in, in one year create three additional uh, six-figure income streams, right? And so what I like to do now is to teach people how to move their business from offline to online to help them to generate more leads, make more sales, uh, do it all through utilizing social media so they're able to actually leverage their time and do it in the most authentic way possible where we're not spamming everybody. And I do that through attraction marketing and branding yourself. So today I'm going to talk to you about these three three keys that have really, really helped me um, grow my business, all my businesses to be very successful. And so number one, I want to tell you is that um, you have to be your own cheerleader. Okay. And this is where you really got to dig deep inside and pull out the greatness within you. Um, You want to channel your inner champion, as I like to say, Um, or the part of you that knows that you're capable of doing whatever it is that you want to do believes in you. So many people have self-doubt. So many people do not believe in themselves and it drives me crazy. I was there once in my life. I was there. I, in the beginning of my network marketing career, when I was asked to speak on stage, I'm like, Oh, like I froze. You guys, I froze. Um, who am I to speak on stage? Who am I to give information to somebody else? You guys, it doesn't matter how much you're making. It doesn't matter what your success level is, you have everything within you to be successful. And so most times we look at the outer, we look at our bank account, we look at how much income we're producing and we'll say, well, we're not successful. Who's to say that? That's bull crap. You are successful. You have to believe in yourself. And it took somebody else to believe in me that I was able to then in turn learn how to trust myself and believe in myself and know that I was capable of doing great things. Um, even when I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Okay. And so, um, the way that you do this is, is really by changing the tone you use for self talk. We beat ourselves up. And so it's really just being your own champion, meaning not, not like rah, rah cheerleader way, just saying, you know what? Um, 
this is a frustrating time or I do feel stuck, but you know what? I am committed to this process and I'm committed to figuring out a plan so I can move forward. And just like speaking at yourself in a good tone and with love, right? We don't do that often. All right, number two, set realistic goals. I hate when I ask somebody what is, you know, if I'm talking to my client and they're like, just telling me this goal is, you know, for them to make a million dollars. I'm like, okay, listen, that's awesome. Like who doesn't want to make a million dollars, but let's reverse engineer that. How are we going to make the million dollars? Like let's set these small, small gains, small gains in one area of your life will fuel motivation for the rest of the areas and to show you what you're capable of. So I'm not even talking like a 30 day goal. Like what is your goal today? What is your goal within the next seven days, right? Set yourself a goal, set yourself that limitation, um, or not the limitation, set yourself um, the expectation, and then go out and make that goal achievable. Small wins along the way, okay? So I said, I didn't come into network marketing and say, I'm gonna make six figures in a year, which I did, but I didn't come in and say that. I, I took it and I said, Okay, well, this seems like a really cool business model. Um, let's say, let's see if I can get you know five new reps started within this month, my first month, right? And I did. I think I had eleven reps within my first month. So it's just setting the bar and and making it so you know it could be. You want it to be a little bit higher, but so you could stretch, but have it be somewhat achievable and attainable. So then you feel motivated and reward yourself, right? So that's number two, set realistic goals. And then number three, super, duper, duper, duper important. So listen up. Hey, Colorado's in the house. How are you? I've never been to Colorado. That just caught my eye. Camille, Camille from Colorado. Hi, how are you? Um, that is on my radar to get to Colorado. Um, but anyways, so here's number three, guys, for success. Uh, the third key to success, plan for roadblocks like you never planned before. Because there will be roadblocks. There will be naysayers, haters, people that want to bash you. There will be you with your self-doubt, right? Which then you need to go back to the first one. Be your cheerleader, not the rah-rah kind. Just the, the cheerleader in the sense of, like I said, uh, speak to yourself with kindness. Know you could do it. Uh, whatever you need to do, affirmations, personal development, listen to some CDs. Every single day you should be fueling yourself with positivity because everything out there nowadays is, a lot of it is negative, okay? So we need to make sure that we are fueling yourself, ourselves and our brain in a positive way. Um, I mean, I'll get back to the secret, but... One of the things is I don't watch the news, which I know is horrible. I'll probably get bashed for not watching the news. My husband yells at me all the time. Um, why don't you watch the news? You need to know what's going on in this world. And I get it. Um, and I'll see it through my feed when I'm online. But I try to really ignore it as much as possible because it's, it's, it leaves me. That's not the last thing I want to listen to before I go to bed at night. Okay? So I'm just saying that, right? Surround yourself with anything that's possible positive and uplifting. Um, and so when you plan for these roadblocks, the thing is this, like you want to visualize this, your success. Like you have to visualize success and it, it's, it's actually a proven, um, performance booster. Okay. But what's even more helpful is to understand along the way you're going to have hurdles. Okay, you're gonna bring hurdles into that picture. So you already imagine, like, think about what some possibilities of what can happen along your way. So you're not set up for total detrimental, a total detrimental experience as you're visualizing this success. Um, so setting up your dreams and your vision alongside your reality actually prompts your brain to devote, if you didn't know this, um, more energy to actually problem solving. Because here's what I see happen. A problem arises and we quit, right? Like something comes into play and we don't like it. We feel uncomfortable. We don't know how to handle it. So what's the only thing to do? We are programmed to quit. Um, it's a habit. That's the number one habit, in case you guys didn't know that, is quitting. Okay, but 
I don't want you to quit. That's why I do these lives, right? I've now done 219 Facebook Lives on this, and I used to have a total fear, if you know my story about doing Facebook Lives, and it has been the most rapid way that I have built my audience, and that's what I teach people to do, to step out of the comfort zone, to step out of fear, and just freaking do whatever it is that you need to do inside your business. You have to determine that. Um, but here, So here's a little tip of what you could do. When you are looking at a certain situation where a roadblock comes into play or a problem comes into play, instead of viewing it from your perspective, I want you to view it from like if you're helping out your best friend. So take yourself out of the equation and pretend you are helping somebody else. Um, so you're, you're, not, you're not looking at it from a light of where you feel like blockage, I guess you can say. I've actually done this before and it's really powerful. Um, so I challenge you to do that. When it's your own problem, you can feel actually emotionally attached to it and the certain result. Um, rather than looking at it like I actually just recently did in my own business, okay? I actually was facing an issue, a challenge, and it was blocking me from moving forward. So what I had to do is actually get a bird's eye view of my entire business and where I wanted to go with it and then start putting the pieces set in place of how I was going to overcome the problems that were set in place. Was it uncomfortable? Yes, absolutely, no doubt. Uh, was it impactful? Yes, absolutely, no doubt. Why? Because it got me unstuck, okay? So I'm here to get you guys unstuck. So there you guys have it, my three secrets and top keys for success. And hang on, because I'm going to tell you one more thing before you go. Uh, number one, be your own cheerleader. Number two, set realistic goals. And number three, plan for uh, roadblocks. And you know, another thing is um, embrace uncertainty because you never know what's going to happen. And it's impossible to know what's going to happen. So when you embrace uncertainty, you move forward um, with less expectations, I guess you could say. So that in turn has you feeling less disappointed when you don't reach something. So just know that the future is unpredicted, right? Like we can't predict the future. However, you can control your actions. That's the number one thing you can control. So are you taking action in your business? Are you taking action every single day to propel you forward, all right? Um, so real quick before you go, in case you did not see and you've been living under a rock, um, I sent out a series of emails this week and I am offering uh, my cel celebratory sale for Silent Recruiting Method, my signature course, which I actually am adding an additional training to you guys called Fan Page Funnel Domination. Super flipping cool. Um, because I feel like there are people out there that are selling courses or products, and maybe you can't agree or disagree. And I know that there are people that follow me here that have taken Silent Recruiting Method and have had some major shifts in their business. But I don't want to just give you one piece of the puzzle, right? Like, I don't want to just sit here and, and be like a talking head. I actually want to show you how to bring your business from offline to online. Why? Because that's what I'm passionate about. I'm not going to sit here and say, Building an offline business doesn't work because that's false. That is false. You could do home parties. You could do hotel meetings. You could do events. You could do one-on-one -on -one coffee shop meetings. However, as a busy mom, I don't have all the hours in my day. And so for me, I truly want a home-based business. I want to be able to reach people all over the world from my home utilizing social media. And so I added this additional training um, to show people, sorry, I have a B. Those of you that follow me know I'm like attacked by bees and wasps out here. I don't know why I keep sitting out here. Um, but really, I don't want you to feel frustrated in your business. I know there's a lot of people that are like, where do I start? Like when I create a fan page, what am I supposed to put on the fan page? Where do I start? How do you even set up a fan page? How do I brand myself? How do I actually um, go through the recruiting process where I'm able to ask them more questions and not hammer them or spam them with my stuff? How can I then turn around and close them without feeling like I'm closing them, right? Um, I'm going to tell you most network marketers, uh, most anybody that's doing sales, which I hate to tell you, you are doing some sort of sales and marketing and promoting, right, for your business. I mean, let's face it, your product does not sell itself. Somebody has to move the product or get people into your business. You're doing the selling and marketing. 
So inside the course, I help you in all aspects. Like I'm giving you the full spectrum. I am teaching you how to authentically sell and market, not your product, yourself. I'm, I'm teaching you how to overcome objections, but hopefully through utilizing what I teach you in the course with branding and attraction marketing, you don't have to feel like you have to overcome objections and close, because guess what? They're already sold, okay? This is how I've been doing it. This is how I was able to uh, build an additional three income streams of six figures in less than one year. This is how I did it. By branding, attracting, and then monetizing. People wanna work with me. I'm not saying I don't work, I mean I work. This doesn't happen overnight. But once you get this process set into play and you understand how to utilize sales funnels, you understand how to utilize fan pages, you know how to close people, you know how to be able to market, so then guess what? You don't have to prospect anymore right? People are coming to you. And then also how to become a powerful leader. So you could build a huge organization within your network marketing company. And then um, how to build the team and how to duplicate. You guys, this is all inside recruiting method. I know it's ridiculous. The value is absolutely freaking ridiculous, but I usually sell it at 397, 50% off at 197. I know it was supposed to end yesterday, but it was overwhelming the response that I got and I just want to be able to continue to help people. So it is until 11.59 Eastern Standard Time tonight. I promise you it is going away at the 197 price. So if you want to pick it up at the discounted price and you want the additional module, you want the seven modules, you want the fan page funnel domination, all of it, um, then I'm going to, uh, I need you to drop me more info. Actually, I'm not gonna put the link above this video. I need you to, to comment more info and do it fast because the deal is ending, okay? So I wanna give you a concrete step-by-step -step process of how to build a profitable business, whether you're a network marketer, an affiliate marketer, you sell any sort of products and services, it does not matter. What I teach you in here, you need it. You need to know how to sell, market, talk to people, ask the right questions. You need to know how to close and you need to understand how to utilize a fan page to move away from your warm market and get more into reaching people globally um, to help you generate more sales for your business, bottom line. So comment more info below. You guys, if you found value in the training, please, please, please share it. Um, and of course, if you have any other questions, feel free to message me, drop me a, a comment here. And um, I just look forward to seeing you inside Silent Recruiting Method. You get a private Facebook uh, group with me and um, hundreds of other marketers as well that are already in the course. And um, I'm just really looking forward to help you grow your business, okay? Everyone have an awesome day. Uh, take care and uh, as always, be blessed. Bye for now.